Hey guys, this is Vadim with MaxTech, and today we're gonna play some games on both the iPhone XS Max and Samsung's Galaxy S10 Plus to see if there are any noticeable differences in the gameplay experience on both phones. So both phones are at 100% battery life, and we're gonna set the brightness to around 80%, so we're gonna match them on both phones, and we're gonna see which one heats up the most and how much battery is left after this gaming session. So let's get right into it. All right guys, here we are in game on the iPhone XS Max, and as you guys can see, we're at 100% battery life, we're at around 80% brightness, and at 50% volume. So let's go ahead and get into the settings. As you can see, we're at high, 100% resolution, 60 FPS. So far, everything's super smooth. The 60 FPS is just amazing. That's what I love about playing on this iPhone. Just such a large screen, 6.5 inches. I'm not seeing any dropped frames or anything like that, so pretty excited about this. Ah, oh, they're upstairs. Come on, man. Oh, I suck at aiming. Oh, come on. Dude, did I miss every single, what? So even though the iPhone has the notch, you can't really tell because like your thumb is covering this section right here, so it's really not a big deal. Woo, gotcha. Come on, my man. Oh, someone's behind me. Woo, got him. Woo! I'm starting to feel some warmth from the back of the iPhone here. It's not getting too hot. But it's definitely feeling pretty warm. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but I think the display got quite a bit dimmer. Oh, man. Oh, 16th place. There's a lot of people fighting right here. Oh, what? I hit him right in the face. Come on, my friend. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> All right, so it's been about 30 minutes playing Fortnite. Let's go switch over to Asphalt 9. Before we do so, let's check out the battery life. We're at 83% after 30 minutes of playing Fortnite at around 80% brightness. Wow. All right, guys, so here we are on the Galaxy S10 Plus. As you can see, we're on high performance mode. Bring this down, 100% battery life, around 80% brightness as well. Fortnite is not updated to include this top section of the display, so you're not gonna experience what it looks like with the camera cut out, that's unfortunate. The first thing I noticed, however, is how much lighter this phone feels. Just like on the iPhone, high, 100%, 60 FPS. So just here in the lobby, I can tell that more sound is coming from the bottom speaker right here, it's not really balanced evenly like the iPhone XS Max is. Whoa, there's some weird drop frames just happened right there. Whoa, did you guys see that? I just sniped it. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Ah. Oh. So it definitely doesn't feel as smooth on the S10 Plus, which kind of sucks, but it's not too bad. He wasn't expecting that. Woo, shot him in the face. Got him. All right, guys, so it's been around 30 minutes playing Fortnite, and we're sitting at 87% battery life. All right, full screen looks pretty good. Notch is not too distracting. Finish line, nice. The stereo sound quality is really nice on here, I'm surprised. Let's go on this thing. Nice, finished quite a bit ahead. Boom! Unlocked. Oh man, okay, let's do this. All right, let's do, Woo. Oh man. Oh, I did that on purpose, guys. Yep, yep, oh. Finish line. I can't see anything. Ooh, knock down. Trying to make sure you guys can see. Oh no. Man, that was quick. Nice. Guys, you should definitely check out this game if you like racing games. So it's only been about 10 minutes playing this game. We're at 77% battery life, not too bad. All right, here we go, Asphalt 9. And the first thing I'm noticing is that the screen looks brighter, looks more colorful, 
looks really good. All right, guys, so I'm noticing the sound quality is a little bit more punchy. It seems louder, even though it's at 50%. All right, you guys, calm down. Oh, nice. To me, it seems like there's some dropped frames in this game compared to the iPhone. It's like a little bit laggy, tiny bit of lag, which is really weird. Oh, did you guys see that? Ah, third place, it's not too bad. Oh, knocked down. I think I finally won. Yes! Feels really good on this phone too, just a little bit of lag. I didn't notice any lag on the Tennis Max. A little bit of lag, but it's not too bad. Still playable. Great game. Looks like everybody sucks at this game. Oh, especially me. Got him. Yeah, got him. Nice and bright. I'm not getting any dimming. I think that was like a Fortnite issue then. Seven kills, one death for my first match. Got him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I actually killed him. I have like no HP. Oh, come on. Oh, you guys see that? <laughs> come on, brother. Watch this, dude. Boom. Yes, I killed him. Woo. Got him. Got one guy. All right, guys, so we've been playing on the iPhone XS Max for just about an hour, and we're at 68% battery life, so that's actually quite a bit for only an hour of gameplay, but we are at 80% brightness, so not too bad. Let's see how the S10 plays. FPS set to 60, render scale 75, just like on the iPhone XS Max, optimal, the same exact settings. Ah, I got one guy. Nice. Throw some nades up, see if we can kill somebody. Explosive kill, got him. Got him. Oh no, a nade. Throwing a nade at me, man? Come on. Look at that. I got the final kill. Woo! I can definitely hear more from the right side. And it's nice that it's the full display. You can see the little camera cut out. It's actually not very distracting at all. It's like you don't even see it. The notch on the iPhone is pretty large, so it does distract you from the game. But this, it's like your mind kind of blocks it out. So far, the game feels really good. I'm not seeing any drop frames or anything like that. Plays very smooth. Ooh, you see that? Just got two guys. Got your back, man. Got him. Got him. In terms of heat, it actually is not too hot either. Come on, bro. Woo, got him. Woo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, gotcha. All right, so now I switched my gun. Whoa. Oh snap, you just got knifed. Got him. All right guys, so there you have it. It's been exactly an hour on the S10 Plus, and we are sitting at, wow, if I can bring this down, 78% battery life, wow. That's actually a really decent difference between this and the XS Max. I mean, I'm really surprised. All right guys, so there you have it, and as you guys saw, the Galaxy S10 Plus finished with 78% battery life, and the iPhone XS Max finished with 68% battery life. So the Galaxy is definitely better in terms of battery life during gaming. I also noticed that the XS Max got a little bit warmer than the S10 did, and I'm not sure if that's the reason for the dimming during Fortnite. Maybe that's just a bug because the other two games were totally fine. But all in all, I think the display looked a little bit brighter and nicer on the S10 Plus. And for the speakers, I'd give it to the XS Max because they were more balanced, but they were pretty punchy on the S10 Plus. I also noticed quite a few drop frames in Fortnite and in the racing game on the S10 Plus, but with the XS Max, it was perfectly smooth throughout all the games that we tested. So what do you think? Which phone do you think performed better in gaming? 
Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe by hitting that button above and we'll see you in the next video. Whoa, did you guys see that? I just sniped it. <laughs>